Hi, I'm Elena Financial Demix, and today we are doing my paycheck budget. It's the first paycheck of January. That paycheck for me will be January 13th. And so I'm showing you how I budget that paycheck. If you didn't see my monthly budget, then make sure you check that out because some of that breaks down into how my paycheck budget is done. So if we go over here, um, my starting balance on my monthly budget was $4,700. When it comes to the income, I like to just split it out. So for the first paycheck of the month, my starting balance for income is going to be $2,350. That's what we're going to work with. And then when we look at my savings and my trading account, we're going to put, I feel like we're a little short on this. Let's do a little quick look. I'm pretty sure we're short on it because I did 470 for my trade for my savings account. So that means that I need to up the money. But I feel like I put more money to paying off debt. That's what I did. Hmm. Okay, we got to make a couple adjustments. But we know that we're going to put $50 into the trading account. And then since it was $470, we're going to put $235 into my um, savings because we're stacking cash right now. That's what we're doing. So for a total of $285 will be for savings and investing. Then if we look at my bills. What I typically like to do for the very large bills is that I break those bills in half. That's just a thing that I've always done. It's better for my mental space. It's also better for my cash flow. So it took a while to be able to do this. And if you want me to explain how I did it, let me know and I'll do a separate video. So let me know in the comments. But for the rent, my rent is typically the portion I pay is $150404. I split that in half. So for rent, I am going to put aside $752.02. Now this is gonna be a side, and I have a bills checking account. And so all these bills will be in that checking account because I like to separate my money and I like to be able to spend freely. And when I mean freely, meaning I know my bills are taken care of because I'm not spending from that account, I'm spending from an account that I use to just spend personal money. So, then life insurance, which is due on the 17th, is going to be $20.13. So let me explain something here also. So what I typically do is I lay all of my bills out, out based on how they're due. So with the first paycheck of the month, I typically will set aside money for the bills that are due between the 17th and the end of the month. And then for the second paycheck of the month, or I should say the... 16th to the end of the month. And then for the second paycheck of the month, then I pay our, I set aside really bills that are due between the first and the 15th of the month. So that's how I typically split my bills. And then anything that's large, like rent or mortgage or stuff like that, even sometimes I would do that before with my student loans, I just split it in half and each paycheck I put money aside so that the money's just there when it's time to pay. So we talked about life insurance. And then for the gym, my gym is 2611, which is doing the 18. Triple A is, I have 2199, but I did update this on my monthly budget. So let's go back and look at that. It's 2143. Also, because I do my budget like this, a lot of times I just need to update a couple of numbers and then we're set to go. For Apple, Apple is going to be $35. I think I mentioned in my monthly budget video that Apple went up on Apple One, so it's gonna be about $35. Um, it'll probably be a little less, but we'll update that when we figure it out. <laughs> and then HP Inc. will be $6.62, and then Compassion will be $45. So for this two-week period, we're gonna set aside $906.31 just for my bills. When I look at my variable expenses, basically like any single funds, I normally take that money and split it in half because typically 
you get paid twice a month if you get paid bi-weekly. If you get paid weekly, then you're going to break this out on a weekly basis. So for food, I budgeted for the month $300. So we are going to take $150 for food for this pay period. Um, for the kids sinking fund, I'm going to put $150 in there. For personal expenses, so this is money I get to spend on whatever I want. Uh, we're going to do $100 and then I'm not budgeting for gas because I don't plan to spend any money on gas and I'm not putting any money in miscellaneous this month. So my total variable expenses and sinking funds for this pay period is going to be $400. That's what we're estimating. And I'll make sure that I try to remember to come back to tell you my actual. So if you do want me to come back and tell you the actuals for the pay period, let me know in the comments below and I will do that. Okay, so for debt, for the car loan that we're paying off, that is um, $250, we're going to set aside to make sure that gets paid. And then for Apple, I do have a small debt with on the Apple card. So that's going to be $2,204. And then with the remaining money, the remaining money is being used as a debt snowball to pay off that vehicle. And then once that vehicle is paid off that you're seeing the car payment on, um, we're going to start the plan to tackle the student loans. So, um, well, when they start back to, because that's a whole nother thing. Uh, but we will be putting money aside to, to make sure we tackle those wherever we end up with that. So for the debt snowball for this, um, this particular pay period, I'm going to put aside $538 and 92 cents. So um yeah that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> i have some expenses coming up some medical expenses coming up so i'm a little like iffy i i want to see where things end up but i just gotta commit to it so for debt we're gonna put um $810.96 towards debt for this pay period so now when i scroll roll over just to kind of do uh we got well actually we got to make some adjustments so one thing i like about my spreadsheet here i do zero base budget if it does not equal out my budget is not um balanced so right now it's showing that i have like 52 dollars and 27 cent over um what's budgeted which means i'm gonna need to reduce this from the debt snowball which is fine because I didn't have some of the numbers correct and I knew that um, just because I didn't fully update this before we started recording. Funny enough, I can't even remember. 52.27, okay. All right, so now we're only gonna put 400, well, let's make sure before I even say this, okay. So our left to spend is zero. So now we're only going to put $486.65 towards a debt snowball for this month, which is still fine. We're fine with that. And then, um, so the total amount of debt for, I said this month, for this pay period. So then the total amount of debt will be $758.69 for this pay period. So once I enter in my actuals, I'll see where I fall. Typically, when it comes to the debt snowball, what I do is I normally put it aside and then make a payment at the end of the month. Um, just because if something comes up, I want to be able to cash flow it. But if you see my goals video, you know that that is an issue I've been having uh, with paying off the car per se. It's just because I'll put money aside and then I'll cash flow something else. Knowing I had a sinking fund, we'll work on it. But this is how I do my paycheck budget. Now, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. I have no problem answering any questions about how I paycheck budget, how to break up your expenses, 
um, just thought processes on anything that that I did. If you have not checked out my video on how I monthly budget, make sure you check that out. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button so that to let the algorithm know that you actually like my videos so it can get out to more people. And I'll see you next time with an all new video.